Restaurant chain now has gone three for seven. Three of its seven Valley locations have now been wow. on Dirty Dining, earning it repeat offender status. And when 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears walked in, she immediately spotted some violations herself. China One is a Dirty Dining three-peat offender, but it's the first time for this location on Craig and Decatur. Hi there, I'm Darcy Spears from Channel 13. We're here because you guys are on Dirty Dining for the 40 demerit C grade that you got from the Health District. That 40 demerit C grade they got on April 8th left them one demerit shy of shutdown. The inspector watched an employee handle dirty dishes, then food, without hand washing. In fact, the inspector saw zero hand washing anywhere in the facility. He also measured grilled chicken and beef at dangerously unsafe temperatures. They had to throw out this entire bus tub of beef that was thawing in standing water. The microwave was dirty and walls and floors were filthy, despite all these dirty mops cluttered in a corner. The inspector wrote, entire facility in need of deep cleaning and organization. Didn't we just need to speak to the person in charge? Get your side of the story. Okay, you know that's one of the violations you got on this health inspection is not having a person in charge on the premises. You have to have someone in charge. The inspection report shows no manager or person in charge available during the inspection. It says cashier Ryan Lynn was helpful but lacks the food service knowledge needed for this facility. Are you Ryan? Yeah. So you're the guy who was in charge when the health department came and they cited you for not having a person in charge. As we wait, Ryan makes several phone calls and talks to someone, but says there's no one available to talk to us. And there's another violation we easily spot. Look closely at the health district's picture of China One's grade card. That's how the inspector left it. But when we were there... And your C grade's not posted. It was right up there by that strawberry slushy. It's not there anymore. He looks forward amid a stack of papers on the counter and says it fell. It fell down? It's got to be on the wall. Which is where he returns it as we watch. Other violations the inspector found included chicken and shrimp uncovered in the fridge and subject to cross-contamination, rice paddles in lukewarm standing water, and a grocery store t-shirt bag being used as a glove to scoop noodles. There was also old food residue on the can opener, packages of meat stored on the freezer floor, and a tub of dirty utensils in the back food prep area. Can I leave you my card and maybe you can have someone call me when they're available. He took my card, but the call never came. We also have one imminent health hazard closure. Family Food Mart Deli on Fremont and 11th was shut down April 8th for a multi-generational cockroach infestation. They also had to throw out sausage, cheese, and potato salad due to unsafe temperatures. China One was reinspected April 24th and got a one demerit A grade. Family Food Mart's Deli was reinspected on April 10th and got a three demerit A. The general manager said he feels like he's the victim in this case. He said his pest control company failed him. He's never had a problem like this before and believes that it won't happen again. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.